Hello there fellow gamers and welcome to MK Mobile Update 5.3. We just got a new character, MK1 Shang Tsung, and in this video I want to go through every single way that you can get MK1 Shang Tsung right now, starting from free ways to paid ways, and uh, is it gonna be... And also we're gonna take a look at his uh, card and his passive, uh, and by the end of this video I will use one of these ways to get MK1 Shang Tsung. So in, in the next video, I can do a full-blown gameplay video where we can find out how good this guy actually is. All right, let's start with the fastest way. If you want to have Shang Tsung in your collection in the least amount of time possible, then this $50 pack is going to be your best bet. Now, this pack comes with quite a lot of stuff. It has guaranteed MK11 Shang Tsung, two diamond character cards which are random so technically you could even potentially get somebody like uh the new pay to win gold uh, diamond card like maybe mk1 scorpion i mean i'm not sure but i don't see why not you get one epic shang tsung equipment card two rare shang tsung equipment cards now this is not the worst deal and especially for somebody who wants to get this guy and uh is not a veteran if you can guarantee that these two random diamond cards are not going to be resells, I feel like it's going to be a decent offer. But on the other hand, it's $50 for one fusion of a card, which is insane. For $50, you can buy most of the games, the entire game. You can buy so many things for $50. Is it smart to spend $50 on a kill one Shang Tsung? Well, I, I'm not going to tell you if it's smart or not. You're going to you're going to have to figure that one out for yourself. Uh, but uh, I feel like that's the most expensive way to uh, to get him kill and Shang Tsung. And it's probably not going to be satisfying. And especially if you are not sure if it's going to fit your play style or fit your collection. I would probably not do this. And instead explore some of the other options. Now, the next way you can get this guy is to open his $10 pack. Now, this one could be one of the cheaper ways to get this guy. You can actually get him from your first pack. And what's good about this pack, it comes with four gold character cards, which could potentially have uh, some of the pay to win gold cards, like Lizard Team, a Danian Blood Team, which are gonna be much more difficult to get otherwise. Uh, and, and this pack pretty much on average has the same chance to get uh, MKO and Shun Tsung. So on average, you would open five packs which will cost you the same $50. But there is a chance you can get unlucky and it's going to take you 20 packs. It did once I spent 18, I opened 18 packs to get one of these diamond uh, cards. I don't remember who it was. Maybe it was Nightwolf. 18. So I spent $180. Ugh, felt bad, but at least I'm a content creator. I can use it as a business expense. I can use the characters that I get to make content. For regular player, it just does not make sense. Once again, you can get lucky. Uh, the benefit of this pack is the possibility to get some of the best gold cards in the game. So in my opinion, it could be good if you're feeling lucky. But if you are, if you just want to get Shang Tsung, it might take you a while. Just, just keep that in mind. Ah, there is a few other ways that you can get an, uh, by paying. For example, this Deadly Alliance pack, which honestly, I don't... I don't would I wouldn't even consider compared to the other offers. It it does come with a thousand souls though, and it comes with a background icon and title. Who let's be honest, nobody cares about. Comes with three random gold cards as well, but you are not guaranteed Shang Tsung either. And on average, it will take you sixty dollars, but you will end up with about three thousand souls and potentially maybe even a fusion on. Uh, I mean, a couple more diamond cards. So it's, if you think about it, it's not too bad. I mean, it's terrible. It's sixty dollars. Could only take twenty. Who knows? But these, these are all. Most of them are random. So it could take you twenty. It could take you two hundred. Nobody knows. I, I would, I would value these three offers about the same. One is more guaranteed. Two are more random. There is also going to be other packs coming in the future uh, that are going to have MK1 Shang Tsung. And some of those packs were reviewed in my video when I do some data mining. But for now, these are the only three paid packs. There's another way 
where you can pay money and get this guy and this way is not talked about it uh, not talked about as much and it's through the uh through the uh, through the new combat pass if you complete this whole combat pass you will actually get a pack that has guaranteed Shang Tsung and it also has it also comes with a Denian blood Sindel. So if you like Sindel, if you wanna it's one of the latest pay to win gold cards. So if you want to get a guaranteed fusion on that girl, that pack is gonna be cost cost you only $20. But it will also cost you if you want to get the Shang Tsung today, it will cost you about 16,000 souls, which depends on how how you get your souls uh, you can calculate the value of your souls if you use tab joy if you buy souls if you grind souls it's it's all going to depend to you and you can figure out how much would it cost you to get sixteen thousand souls i usually use about a dollar per thousand souls because i do tab joy offers and that's usually the offers that i can get so it would cost me sixteen dollars plus twenty dollars of a pack so for thirty six dollars I will get guaranteed Shang Tsung and guaranteed Sindel, which, in my opinion, for me personally, for my account, because I don't, I don't need any extra souls, I don't need any uh, random diamonds. This seems to be like the best offer, so I'm gonna do this one in the end of this video. You can also just grind it out. You can grind out Star Path and potentially, I mean, the Battle Pass as many tasks as you can, which is not many because we're only on week one. If you want to wait. You could technically get him for only $20, but uh, yeah, there's no way to get him from here right now. And the last but not least, the most free and the most available offer for most people is going to be the Crypt Store. He's 14,000 uh, hearts right now. It's going to take you about seven runs in Elder Crypt or like 14 runs in Normal Crypt. Which is definitely possible to do throughout this whole week for free, completely without even using any keys, or you can just use the keys to speed it up. It's just gonna take hours and hours and hours and hours of grinding. <laughs> but with the new crypt improvements, uh, it might be not as bad as it was before. Hopefully, maybe even some stability improvements as well. I'm definitely gonna grind this guy in my beginner account, but I will not grind him on my main account because I just don't have enough time to grind him on both accounts. It's going to be ridiculous investment in time. So I'm going to grind him for free on my free-to-play account. It's probably going to take me a full week. But right now, I want to record a review on this guy. So I'm going to use the, the way with a star path. Why do you keep calling it star path? The battle pass. So here is how it works. A wrong pack. What I'm going to do, I'm going to go to Season 11, I'm going to buy tiers, and I'm going to basically max it out. Get it all the way to 40. I already claimed one tier that is going to save me 400 souls. It's going to cost me 15,600. I'm going to buy it right now. Oh, this hurts my soul. I'm going to claim all of these goodies, which is nothing. Let's be honest, this is pretty much nothing. Skip all. What do we get? I got 150 Dragon Crystals, which is pretty good. And nine dragon crystals that are going to count towards my limit, I think. Well, let's see. Did it count towards my limit? I think the nine will go towards the limit, but not uh, not the other ones. Wait, that, that is actually interesting. Oh, here is the pack. Uh, so my personal offer for the win. This pack and tease guaranteed MK11 Shang MK1 Shang Tsung and one... Wait, it says one gold character... Oh, so it's not Sindel. It's one of the Edenian Bloods uh, gold cards. Honestly, I'm, I don't mind that. I I don't have either of them maxed out. I would prefer Sindel, but I'll take it. Anyway, let's buy this. All right. First purchase of the update. Probably going to be the last. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be buying the new Fujin. I'll just grind him in the crypts. Maybe I will. I don't know. All right. Let's open this bad boy. Okay, we got the rain. I don't mind the rain. And we got MK1 Shang Tsung. Let's go for only $20 and souls. But if you do grind souls, then... Oh, I need another 3x event now because I'm, I'm, I'm running low on souls. Yeah, 40,000 is pretty low for me. All right. Shang Tsung unlocked.
that was pretty good. So I'm kind of curious, uh, what is my current limit on Dragon Crystal? So it has 427. Why doesn't show... Oh, the limit is 27 out of 30. So I literally cannot get any other resells today. Otherwise, it's just going to get wasted. This is such a dumb system. Why? Why make such a low daily limit? Make it a weekly limit. On some days, I get multiple characters. On some days, I, I get nothing. It would be so much better as the weekly limit. Anyway. Enough of that. Ooh, and I could technically open Collector's Diamond Casket. Should I do it now? Or should I wait? Nah, I'll do it now. Okay. Let's see what this, th what, what this thing is all about. Is it worth the hype? I hope I get some pay-to-win diamond cards, you know? Alright. Come on! Give me something good, baby! Oh! <gasps> <laughs> Let's go! I was worried for a second it was going to be Assassin uh, Jade. I mean, Scarlet. That's the only basically basic diamond card that is not maxed in my collection. So this pack literally can give you anything. Wow, that was kind of crazy. That was kind of crazy. I, I love this. I think it's a good finisher for this video. So, yeah. Which way are you going to get MK1 Shang Tsung? Are you going to get MK1 Shang Tsung at all? And if you did open your first collector's diamond casket, what did you get from it? Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Subscribe for more MK content. There's going to be definitely more content now. This update did bring a few cool changes and a new tower, which I'm excited to explore. So if you don't want to miss it, click that button. Thank you so much, members of the Patreons. And take care, my friends. Yeah.